Oh, there she is, folks. What a beautiful sight. Right now, I'm actually going to get my truck re-registered. Not the van, the van's all good, but I gotta get my uh, 7.3 uh, re-registered right now so I'm gonna head over to do that and then I noticed you guys said in the comments you really like the solo riding so Marcel and Jay believe today to go to France for some sort of I think it's called street station so and Trey's doing like an outdoor shower so I decided that I wanted to go ride Lake Mary for a little bit and just cruise around uh, after on my way back to go to the shop and then I'm gonna meet up with Dan later today and kind of discuss some of the van build stuff so get together somewhat of a like list of stuff that we're gonna need for all the inside with the building stuff and then also the solar panels inverters and all that stuff so I'll kind of explain more that's gonna go in the build and you guys will slowly start getting understanding and then yes I am pumped to announce that we're gonna be doing a van build series on this new van that I just got on this channel it's kind of a throwback to the original van builds I did on my old Sprinter van that I used to have it was a Dodge Sprinter 2006 it was like the diesel one it was a little bit smaller than this actually a whole lot smaller than this but yeah we're gonna be filming that and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait so DMV and then go ride the skate park for a bit First time driving this bad boy to the skate park. Look at it back there. They really have nothing going on back there, but uh, a lot of room for a lot of activities. So we're gonna have, I bought the biggest van I could possibly find because I wanna be able to get as many bikes and as many people if I ever needed to, as well as a bed to camp out on, get some solar panels in this bad boy. Uh, tools, tools, you gotta have tools to work on your bike, but right now all we have is a BMX bike and a camera bag, so we got a lot of extra room back there. Uh, probably have a session in the back of the van, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna put my pads on, go ride Lake Mary for a little bit. Got some skateboards in there, got a, got a rollerblader. That's, that's pretty cool, and then just a dude hanging out on a weird healthy bike, but that's sweet, let's do it. Got the biggest damn van in the world. Just to store those pair of shorts and a couple t-shirt boxes. Well worth it, I think, honestly, here, folks. Really, really spent my money wisely on this one. I'm just kidding. It's gonna make sense when it's when we're using it more. Well, I was gonna say warm up with some GoPro clips, but forgot all the batteries, so that's awesome. So we're just gonna warm up with a big hammer. Screw it. session was a success pretty stoked on this thing man I don't know why like just the idea of being able to drive the skate park 
chain to the back of this thing, have the bike. I just, I'm excited, man. It has, I don't even have any of that stuff yet. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be badass. Me and Dan are out here right now, brainstorming, watching some videos, getting some ideas for the draw. It's somewhat of a plan. I'm not a great drawer, but we'll get it dialed in. This is kind of our plan. Get the bed, the bench is going to fold up like that. Dan wants to do some crazy pull out thing here. I don't really know anything about that, but toolbox that's the door those are two seats super simple a lot of fun we're gonna do some measurements now and uh so now you're probably thinking you're like big dog why the hell did you just crush up the designs that you guys came up with yesterday it's because we're not doing that anymore i decided i finally came up with my mind i slept on it dan said basically when i was describing the kind of van that i wanted to build that i had three different vans going through my head and i can't do all three even though I love to, which is something that I do all the time, is I just come up with a million ideas and I can't figure it out, but I've got a good idea. What I was doing yesterday was, was I was like, I had a van in my head that I would live in full time. And then I had a van that I could camp in, but also get a lot of people in. And then I had a van that was literally just to get people in. So I've narrowed it down to exactly what I want now. And the live in full time thing, not an option because I could live in just about anything full time. As long as there's a place to lay my head down, seems how I have a gym membership and I can eat like canned tuna and rice that you could cook in a microwave at a 7-Eleven. I'm pretty good. I, my last van build, I put a sink in there. I had a freezer. I had all that stuff and I never used any of it. I never used the sink one time the entire time that I was in that van. Never filled up one of those marine tanks the whole time. I was either at the gym, friends' houses, or just using a water gallon jug in a Walmart parking lot. So right now, I'm going to drop the new idea, time lapse it real fast, and then show you guys what my new actual idea that I'm going with is going to be. All right, so this is going to give you guys kind of a rough idea of what I'm thinking. So these are the two front seats. That's the door on the side. And the back doors are here. This is the right side of the van. This is the left side of the van, driver's side, passenger side. So it kind of gives you an idea. So enter into the door. There's going to be a toolbox that kind of cuts halfway through the door because the door is really, really, really wide. So you only need enough to get a person through it. So there'll be a toolbox right there. I'll we'll have my BMX tools and everything like that that's going to fix the bikes on the road or whatever we got to do, any other tools I might need. Then this is going to be a massive bench seat that goes all the way back over to the wheel well, wherever there's like a good spot. We'll try to make it at least eight feet long so you can get as many dudes on here as you possibly want when you go on a trip or one person that can sleep on there if we're on a trip and it's like me back here or something like that. Then over here, there's going to be some hooks on the wall for the bigger bikes like the mountain bikes. They're going to hang from the walls instead of sitting on the ground. And then underneath that, there'll be a small box for tool storage and maybe some gear. Don't really know. These two things are kind of like up in the air of what I want to do with them, but we'll figure that out as we go. This will be like a power supply box where we'll have the inverter will be on the side of it. There'll be like batteries inside of here. And it'll basically store everything that we need and hide all the actual important stuff that controls the solar panels and the fans and all that stuff. Like there'll be like a fuse box in there or whatnot. And then all this back room in the back of the van will be open like a normal van where you put stuff in. And that'll be where you load all the BMX bikes. You can either load them this way or you could load them sideways. You could probably get four or five BMX bikes all in there and then all the dudes could sit there. But then on the side of here, on this wall, on this like driver's side wall, there'll be a bed that like folds down like that. So when I go on a trip, whether it's me and my girlfriend or just me by myself, I could fold the bed down and sleep comfortably there. But it would be high enough over the bench too that if somebody else were to come on the trip with me, they could sleep on this bench and their feet would go underneath this side and I would be over top of them, but they'd have enough room and their head would be over here. So I think this is a good idea and it kind of hits and checks all the things I need. Basically the ultimate like BMX and bike van that I can possibly have and it has the option to go camping with a less of a focus on living in it. All right, so this is everything I got so far. This is the solar panels. These were uh, one, two 100 watt solar panels with their like little power box. I don't know how any of that stuff works. I got two ceiling fans to create a nice like draft through there. So one will go in the front, one will go in the back. The solar panels will probably go in between them. That's the power inverter that's gonna run from the solar panel to the battery that's down here to that power inverter so I can charge my cameras and all that good stuff and anything else we might need. That's a fuse box to turn all the lights and the fans on because they all run off 12 volts. So we can go straight from this system into the fuse box, into these, and it'll work fine. Um, so yeah, that should all be good. I just have to figure out how to put it all in when I get it. Again, this is all stuff that I've done in the past. I did do this in my last van build. It's just been a while since I've done it. So I'm gonna have to kind of jog my memory on how everything goes, but I'm really excited. This stuff should be getting here by the end of the week. So as soon as this stuff gets here, I'm going to start putting all that in. We were going to do spray foam insulation, but we decided not to after doing a lot of research. I realized that spray foam insulation might be a bad idea because 
It expands so aggressively that it's been known to actually crinkle and crumple the outside of the van and make it look like wavy. And I genuinely care about that. I just spent a lot of money on this van and I don't want to do that. And also, God forbid, I ever want to sell the van. Theoretically, if I put the spray foam in there, I would never be able to take it out or it would be really messy to you. If I put regular pink insulation or some of that rock wool stuff in there, like a lot of the van guys do, I could always strip this entire thing back down, pull it all out, make it right back to the way it was the day I bought it. So I'm going to do that, but that's going to be in this video, guys. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy these van series. I'm super excited about this and then also super excited about the possibilities that this thing's going to bring for me, my friends, and just my travels and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to be exciting. And it's definitely gonna be that push to get me to go do some more different stuff. I got some trips planned for the end of July. I'm gonna be going out to Riveter, I believe, and gonna to go to North Carolina. Uh, we, me and the guys have been talking about possibly Georgia and stuff like that too. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I would love to go up north again too, go to like Mountain Creek and those spots and then visit some friends from back home and then visit some friends from Jersey and just kind of see some people from down there. Um, but yeah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we post up every single time at 3 p.m. Subscribe down below. Make sure you like this video. Comment for the algorithm because I guess YouTube likes that kind of stuff. And if you guys want to support the channel, go to BeWeirdShop.com and grab a t-shirt. That kind of supports the channel, this build pretty much as well. And uh, yeah, thanks. Go grab a shirt. All right, I'm out.